mess are there? I can by two, two, four, six. You do. Okay, are you happy with our groups? Yes. I want to ask. We have all come to know just how much cognitive growth is possible during early childhood. Excellent programs foster development of pre-literacy skills. Self-regulation abilities. And creativity. However, most programs do not do as well with providing rich early math experiences. Hello, I'm Jack Eaton. I'm here with two of my colleagues, Jennifer McCrane and Janine Brownell. We represent Erickson Institute's Early Mathematics Education Project. The goal of our project is to improve the quality of early math teaching in the classroom, and we want to share our work with you. We will describe five big ideas that teachers can use to highlight and connect the mathematical concepts for children. While these five big ideas are not inclusive of all that young children need to learn, they deserve emphasis. Measurement tells us how much of an attribute an object possesses. For instance, length or capacity. How do you guys know when something is big? If it's huge. If it's huge? Young children are naturally focused on finding who or what is the biggest. One of the most important concepts for them to learn is that big can mean different things depending on the attribute being considered. They're both cats, and how are they different? Do they weigh the same, do you think? No. Which one weighs more? The tiger. The tiger. How do you know it weighs more? It's a bigger animal. The first requirement of measuring is deciding what attribute to measure. What kind of big are we talking about? We're going to try to find something that is the same size as our hand, the same length as our hand. How would we know how to measure something that's the same length as our hand? Length is the easiest measurable attribute for children to consider. Even very young children are sensitive to differences in lengths, although they can easily be misled by their perceptions. You think? With experience, they realize that measurement requires them to compare things directly to see what is bigger and what is smaller. Small. Small. It's shorter than that, than your longer one, right? A variety of experiences comparing objects enables children to become more precise in their language. Longer, wider, narrower. They begin to understand that these measurement concepts exist only in relationships between objects and not in the objects themselves. When thinking about young children and early math in schools, there are three messages we would like you to take away from this film. The first is about children. Young children are eager, curious, and capable of learning math. The second is about the teacher. Teacher competence in teaching mathematics depends on understanding the big ideas. The third is about classrooms. Quality early math learning in the classroom requires both intentional teaching and mathematizing children's daily experiences. We trust you will find it rewarding to provide rich math learning experiences to your students because you are helping them build foundations for further math and the lifelong learning.